We want to introduce everyone to a new amalgamation of two entities that we've always had. Uh, mine has been with bread, a local bread stand at the farmer's market in Yellowknife for the last several years. And Marie's is, is what? I started a small business called Sweet Ride Hive with the hopes of having an apiary in Yellowknife, a very small scale apiary. I'm also very invested in food production. I studied horticulture. Uh, at the University of Saskatchewan and I'd love to have a small small scale urban farm within within Yellowknife, uh, have a small scale apiary and try and provide some local food to our residents. So between Sweet Ride Hive, food production bees and with bread micro bakery, we are amalgamating the two into something that is ours together that we can grow for the future to come and we're gonna call it Bush order provisions. Bush order is a term that I grew up using when people would make an order in from camp, be it a fishing camp, hunt camp, exploration camp, to an expediter, and that was their bush order, and then that order would get packaged up and flown out. So us producing bread and honey and uh, produce in different periods of time is kind of where we came up with that concept. We're providing for our local economy, and uh, we're really passionate about that. So this year we are we are developing our urban farm, urban market garden, I should say, and we're going to be providing a, a primary stream through our CSA or our veggie box operation. And and what you're doing when you're supporting us through these different avenues this year is you're actually supporting us in our endeavor to to strive towards a commercial property. We have quite large vision for local food in Yellowknife and we want to take that to a commercial level where we, we might have a greenhouse, right? Greenhouse, nursery, where we can um, start everything from seed uh, so we don't have to import. Starts from the south is the goal, is to have everything locally produced as much as we can. Kind of have a circular economy type approach where we could compost and seed and provide ourselves with everything that we need. Uh, that's very vague. But we've got so many cool ideas that we just need to kind of get the ball rolling where I hope that, you know, some of the waste heat that we're pumping out from our, our ovens that are producing bread on a daily basis goes and is stored to heat our our greenhouse for a longer growing season, thus making it viable for us to actually operate in that sense. And then using some of our, our byproducts, you know, sometimes not all bread gets sold or used, using that in compost or using that in other products that we might produce, really, really try to build off of that circular economy to make what we're doing as viable as possible and bring as much to market to Yellowknife as possible. So we need the support of the community, be it through some of our subscription models, our products, through just purchasing some of the bread, or just following along and, and just being supportive of what we're doing uh, as we grow. Check out some of our, our content through bushorder.ca or bushorder on Instagram and Facebook. It'll all be bush order provisions in the end. And so we welcome you and we hope you join us along this journey uh, as we grow and, and develop it together. Yeah. To bushorder.ca. We're excited. We hope you are too. <laughs> We're tough enough. Yeah, no, I can just let it roll. I'll cut it whenever.